There is breaking news on several fronts. The raids underway after the terror attack at a concert. Tonight, the bomber, what we've learned, and was his brother about to bomb again? Heavily armed police teams raiding several sites around Manchester today, now in a race to uncover a hidden network. And tonight, we have new images of pieces of the bomb itself and what they reveal. We begin with ABC's chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, in Manchester. In the terrible moment the bomb went off, It left behind, amid the carnage and fear, clues to how it was made and by whom. Tonight, those crime scene photos obtained by the New York Times and posted on their website reveal the bomb's sophisticated design. The possible detonator bloodied, carried in the suspect's left hand, investigators believe, with a small circuit board soldered inside and a protruding red wire. A mangled 12-volt battery, more powerful than those seen in most suicide bombs. Nuts and screws used as deadly shrapnel and part of the blue Caramore backpack the bomb was carried in. Investigators now concluding that this bomber was no lone wolf. I think it's very clear that this is uh, a network that we are investigating. Whoa! This morning, police stormed a building in central Manchester, targeting a third floor apartment. Neighbors told us they thought it was being rented as an Airbnb unit. And you, you can't know who everybody is. While we were there, Police have been at this location for about three hours and all of a sudden they've tackled this man here. They're making some kind of arrest. We don't know if it's related to the attack or not, but things happen very fast here. It turned out a police officer had simply been trying to break up a fight. And tonight, police say all the victims have now been identified, stilling the faint last hopes of so many, like Charlotte Campbell, who desperately sought her 15-year-old girl, Olivia. Olivia, mommy loves you. Please just phone me and come home, please. Tonight, Olivia, too, among the dead. Just heartbreaking for Charlotte, who the world watched, and that tearful plea. Terry Moran with us tonight from Manchester. And Terry, police in that city now searching for any possible accomplices. And you were telling us they're also preparing for a huge public event this weekend. They are, David, even as the memorial here grows. The Great Manchester Run and City Games, which includes Europe's largest 10K run, 35,000 runners last year, will go forward this weekend, authorities say, safely. David? Terry Moran leading us off tonight. Terry, our thanks to you.